morning, Western Avenue. I am Catherine Turan, and welcome to Western Weekly News. And I'm Kimberly Avalos, and here are today's headlines. We will begin with a report with Abel about Digital Citizenship Week. Hi, my name is Abel Rihu, and welcome to Western Avenue Elementary School. And today I'm going to tell you why Digital Citizenship Week is very important. If you asked why Digital Citizenship Week is very important because it teaches kids how to be safe online and offline. Um, Digital Citizenship Week is on October 27th through 31st, 2014 in the auditorium. We celebrate Digital Citizen Week because it is important for kids to remember to be safe online and don't share your personal information online because there are some people online that can steal your personal information. Students, <coughs> teachers, and volunteers are celebrating Digital Citizen Week <coughs> at, at Western Avenue Elementary. Teachers, staff, and parent volunteers are going to put this amazing show together. So have fun and be safe. Look, Julissa, Adrian, Anthony, what, what place are you visiting? What website are you visiting? Is NASA a right place for kids to visit? Yes. Why? Because you're in, you learn about space. Okay, you, you said you learn about what, Adrian? And you learn about science. And say, say that again, Julissa. You learn about science and what they do. Mm -hmm. And is that right for kids? Yes. Okay. You may go back and uh, watch some more. Responsibility. Are you ready? I never participate in online bullying. Very good. It's yourself because it says I never do it. How about this one? I visit sites that are safe and appropriate. Which one is it? I visit sites that are safe and appropriate. Yeah, it's yourself again because it talks about you. I'm going to give you a hug. I never tell anybody my family's home address. Who are you responsible to? Very good. Your family, because that's why you don't share your home address. I am a digital citizen. I am safe. I am honest. I am responsible online and offline. I am a digital Last week, it was our Red Ribbon Week. Let's take a look at what happened. Hello, I'm Rosalda Ramirez, and I'm here for Red Ribbon Week. The activities we will be doing include wearing silly clothes every day. It is going to be from October 20th through the 24th. On Monday, it will be the superhero apparel. So if you want to come with super, to be Superman, come with a red cape. On Tuesday, we will be wearing boots. On Wednesday, it will be Mismatch Day. On Thursday, we will be wearing a team shirt. Come with a Lakers shirt. On Friday, we will be wearing socks all the way to your knees. We are celebrating Red Ribbon Week to say no to drugs. Back to you in the studio. We have a new class called Robotics. Eric has the story. My name is Eric Diaz and I am talking about robotics. Ms. Peng is offering robotics class. It is in room 10. Students in fifth and fourth grade are in robotics. Students who are in robotics are preparing for their future. The students are excited for robotics. They are looking forward to coming to robotics to learn more about robots and how they work. 
The students go through steps part by part until they create their own robots. Now let's see this robot that they've made. They have made this and it is beautiful. They make it, I think it's a cleaning robot. Now back to the field reporters. Giovanni has this story about West Tech. Hello, my name is Giovanni, and I am here live in front of the auditorium where West Tech will again take place. What is West Tech, you ask? West Tech is a great showcase for students and what kind of projects they do on the iPads. Some students do projects in Lego Arch, Arts, Math, Science, and Social Studies. For example, students do movie projects with iMovie. Some use pages, keynote, and explain everything. West Tech is so important because it shows how students are being creative and innovative with technology. It shows that students are learning better by creating and producing projects. Make sure to check out West Tech 2015 in April to see for yourself the best student projects here at Western Avenue Elementary School. Back to you in the studio. Two weeks ago, we had an earthquake drill. Let's find out what happened. Hi, my name is Emily Hick. I'm live here at the playground. It's October 16 and it's the big shakeout here in California. Right now at Western Avenue Elementary School, the earthquake drill is happening. This just happened so we can be prepared for an emergency or, an, or a disaster. As you can see behind me, teens of adults are ready to search in the buildings to make sure no one is injured. With this earthquake drill, we should be well prepared if the big earthquake happens. Now. These are the reasons why we should be prepared if an emergency or an a disaster happens. Back to you at the studio. Next, Valerie has a story about our monthly student award assembly. Hello, I'm Valerie Reyes and I will talk about the student of the month assembly we hold in our school. The students who receive the awards are the students who receive student of the month, most improved and perfect attendance. Students who get Student of the Month receive a Student of the Month certificate, a pencil, and a sticker. The Student Assembly is held in the auditorium. Any student out there who wants this privilege needs to try a tiny bit harder. Back to the studio. This Friday is our Harvest Festival, and let's find out more about it. Hello, my name is Hilda Viata. I am live here at the main building. Our Harvest Festival will be Friday, October 31st, 2014. It will happen at, happen at the playground. The Harvest Festival is a Western Avenue tradition, and it happens every year. For this year, we will have games, raffles, food sales, and lots of fun. Parents, let me remind you to pick up your kids early at 12.30. You should know that we are selling wristbands and accepting donations. Please check with the office for more details. Hello, my name is Derek, and I am live here at Western Avenue. Kids go trick-or-treating to get candy. Kids go trick-or-treating on October 31st. These are three ways to stay safe. First, don't talk to strangers. Second, don't go in strangers' houses. Finally, go trick-or-treating in the day. You should go trick-or-treating with an adult. It is important to stay safe so nothing will happen to us kids. Back to you in the studio. Catherine has a report about Spirit Day. Hello, I am Catherine Turan and I am here to tell you a story about why we wear I Heart Western t-shirts on Fridays. Let's ask some students from the school a question about why they wear I Heart Western t-shirts. How, how do you show how much you love Western? They give good education to kids. I love Western because 
it's a great school. I love Weston because the students are great and the teachers are great. Where could you buy an I Heart Western t-shirt because I have seen lots of students with these marvelous t-shirts? In the office, in the parent center. You can ask the principal. Can I hear all of you say how much you love Western? I Heart Western. Hi, I am Bethany and I will talk about the Cheesecake Fundraiser. Western Avenue is help having the fundraiser to help fundraise the school. This fundraiser started in October and will end in November. Kids who participate in the fundraiser will go house to house selling cheesecakes. When the kids are selling the cheesecakes, they will earn prizes for each cheesecake the kids have sold. Back to you in the studio. Good morning, Western Avenue. I am Takai Dudley, live here for in the studio for the weather forecast. The weather forecast for Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday will be in the 70s. Next Wednesday and Thursday will be in the 80s. On Wednesday, it will be hot. Friday, it will be in the 90s. So it will be 90s and the 80s. And Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday will be a lot cooler than Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. That is all the news for this week, and I am Catherine Turan. And thanks for watching. My name is Kimberly Avalos. And, and we Heart Western. Just the people holding the poster. Yes, just the whole. Yes, just the people holding the poster. Keep coming. Who's ah, Come on, Miss Delapena's poster holder. Not the whole class. Just the people holding the posters. Keep going, D. Anthony. All right, there we go. Now we're getting it. Yeah, look at these beautiful Oh my goodness, look at the beautiful places with the pledge. Miss Bell Howard's class. Oh, look at this. We've got some little Instagrammers. Oh, it's a kindergram. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Miss Opinion's class. Oh, that is so cute. Got some going places safely online. Miss Lizzie's class. So <laughs> Separate. Let's see. All right, room 26. I love it. They've got thinking maps. Ooh, nice. Oh, this is big. Uh oh. Oh, beautiful. Zap cyberspace is a serious place, Mr. Tim. Oh, I love these. iPad rooms. We know how to use our equipment. Got the pledge going around. The bones. Oh, look at this beautiful one with the hands, Mr. Bong. I love these thinking maps. Nice, Miss Hampton. Oh, wow. Look at the citizenship. We have some nice walks that we can use. That's nice. Got the iPad with the pledge on it. Where are they going? A lot of these All right. Here we go. Okay, return to your mind. That was beautiful. I love seeing all these great digital citizenship. Pastors, give you. Classmates and the classroom wonderful posters of food.